Welcome everyone. Adam the Woo here. As the recording of this, it is Wednesday, November 13th, 2024. I'm in Barrow, Alaska. It's 9 a.m. right now. It is 9 a.m. The sun is not up. It will not rise for about three more hours. About two and a half hours, the sun will be up today. So very little sunlight. In fact, it's cloudy. Also, I have a piping hot caffeinated beverage. I'm gonna do my intro right over here near the Arctic Ocean at this whalebone archway, which I was looking online. This building is on the National Register of Historic Places. And it was used where the whalers would show up. It was a whaler, like a, not an office, but where they would, would meet. It was like the headquarters of the, of the whalers back in the day. And that old abandoned building is on the National Register of Historic Places. So I am going to go rent a car. And I say car because it's really technically, let me spin this around pulled down a little facial thing there piping hot caffeinated beverage at the northernmost point of the United States and one of the most northernmost points in the world top of the world cheers the rental car place all they had is an 11 passenger van so I'm going to order a taxi go over to the rental car place and I'm going to explore this very unique town. And I'm inviting you, yes you, to join me. It's good to have you here, it's cold. This, this, this is a cool feeling. And I'm glad you're tagging along. Join me. Shall you? All right, they in fact didn't need me to go into the 11 passenger van. They had this F-350 Super Duty. This is what I'm gonna have drive around in four-wheel drive there's only one paved road in all the town with the exception of the tarmac at the airport and the runway and it's that one right here all the other ones are not paved only one paved road all the other ones because of permafrost are not paved so the entire town is on unpaved roads I got the heat on in here she also gave me a layout of the land said do not take it off road again I was saying the roads are not paved so those, those are considered roads but don't take it off of the designated streets which are shown here I believe this is the only rental facility in town she also said there's only one gas station I'm gonna try to fill it up before bringing it back I'm just gonna drive around a little bit I'll stop and film some of the things in town I'll also get out quite a few times figure it'd just make more sense to have a rental you can kind of film a little bit out the windows and then if feeling daring while it's still dark again only a couple hours of daylight can jump out and explore a little bit there's an ace hardware here doesn't look like it's open though there's a lot of these dumpsters I noticed these dumpsters are everywhere and they usually have something written on all the sides of them. Like all of them kind of have little sayings written on the side. This car right here does not appear to be in good working condition. Like the doors have all been removed off of it. Just sitting there in the snow. There's the Barrow Transit Station. I'll find a place to park over here and show a little, little thing I want to get out and see. Try to keep it running as much as I can. I don't know how deep this is. Eh, not that deep. There we go. So this is the little marker designates about 10 miles from here is where aviator Wiley Post was flying a plane, landed, and then upon takeoff in this area, Oh, they go around the other side. Ooh. So there's Wiley right there. Born in Texas, 
grew up in farms in Oklahoma. Also known from Oklahoma, Will Rogers. Both of them searching for the top of the world. They lost their lives on August 15th of 1935 when Wiley Post unnamed experiment, uh, experimental plane crashed 16 miles, okay, 16 miles short of their destination. From this spot in Barrow, Alaska, their bodies were flown back home for burial from this section, this airport. Will Rogers. Now evidently I was doing a little looking online and the exact spot where the plane crashed is unattainable by road. There was only a couple photos I saw and they were taken by a little, like a seaplane type thing. I don't even know if those little markers are even still out there, but this is, this is a very impressive and nice one. Will Rogers and Wiley Post. Here's a little marker as well. Barrow or Barrow. I'm not, I'm not really sure which way it's pronounced, but Barrow or Barrow. It also has another name that recently has changed named into something else, but I'm noticing you don't really see that name designated too much here. You still see all the signage for Barrow or Barrow. Now the North Pole is 1,311 miles from here. Not North Pole, Alaska, where I was the other day, where I met Santa Claus and all that, which was kind of a neat town named the North Pole. But the actual North Pole, the real North Pole, the farthest possible point of a pole could go is 1,311 miles, shown right there. Then you got the South Pole over there. Fairbanks, Alaska, which I was at recently, is 551 miles. Lake Placid, Florida, look at this. <laughs> Lake Placid, Florida, 4,774. I've been to Lake Placid, not too far from where I'm at. Central Florida. Chicago is 3,000 miles. LA is just shy of 3,000 to 2,945 miles. There's a snow eagle right up top there. Austin, Texas, 3,572 miles. And Will Rogers' birthplace. It's 3,246 miles from here, so he passed away 3,246 miles from where he was born. All right, I'm gonna get back in. I'm gonna get back in the truck. It's cold out here. This town is in a designated area called the North Slope Borough. This seems to be where quite a few people work. There's definitely a lot of cars over there, and that's not a hotel. Well, it doesn't appear to be. Definitely the most congregation of cars I've seen so far in one little area here. There's the Presbyterian Church here in town. Nice stained glass windows over there. Very nice. There's the police department. As I was saying, most of the dumpsters have things written on them. This one has Jesus written on the side. Not really like tagging or graffiti, they just have sometimes words of encouragement or different names. This one has Jesus on the side. Got the Arctic Sea right over there, which I'm going to try to get a little bit better view. You always see a lot of whale bones, so there's like whale bones everywhere. You can see another little whale bone archway right there. So this is pretty fascinating. This is the ancient village of Ukpayagvik. Ukpayagvik, the place where we hunt the snowy owl. This is what this says. So I'm hoping this isn't too deep. I would like to walk over here and get a little bit better view of this, kind of read up on this. So these are different mounds. Now, because there's so much snow, you won't be able to see the mounds as much, but you can see little humps in the ground there where the mounds are, even though the snow cover is engulfing them. And you also see a snow plow over there dumping snow. You see this all over. You see a lot of snow plows. You see a lot of snowmobiles. In fact, I'm seeing probably just as many snowmobiles as I see cars. I think that's the mode of transportation for a lot of people. 
but here is their homesteads here. Home building 2,000 years ago. The mounds before you are 2,000 year old remains of their ancestors' semi underground sod homes. They keep heat from the whale oil lamps in the bitter Arctic winds. That's what the name means, the place where they hunt the snowy owls. Right here along the Arctic Ocean, the frozen Arctic Ocean. There's a Jeep. So here's the back of the bed of the truck. That's all snow right down in there. There's the ocean right over there. I don't want to venture off too far because this is definitely polar bear area. And hoping I can get that thing is not moving that water is not it is just so eerie it's 10 o'clock in the morning it's actually a few minutes past 10 a.m. you can kind of see a little bit of haze of the Sun maybe starting to come up and then maybe the next hour pre daylight will be happening it's such an eerie feeling to be at 10 a.m. for it to be this dark got the lights on Keeping the truck running most of the time, if possible. It's just such an eerie feeling that I'm not personally not used to at this time frame. Seeing an ocean that's not moving. Hoping I can get a little closer, closer view. It's like a little beach shack here, some sort. Yeah, the snow's getting kind of a little deeper here. All right, go back to the truck, carry on. Sometimes it's difficult to know where to drive also because you don't know where road is and where road isn't because it's just all covered in snow. All right, this is something else. About a mile on the outskirts of town. Very snowy roads. Very, very snowy roads. Slow going. I've arrived now at the Ima IO sign. Apologies if I'm really mis mispronouncing that. Cemetery here. In the Arctic. Wow. It is so quiet, the only sound is the truck running. It is otherworldly up here. Top of the world. I cannot get over this. I'm at a loss for words right now. Where am I? This is just incredible, incredible. Quite a few laid to rest here. They got the crosses up. A lot of whale bones. I see whale bones out there.
that's deep. Maybe not. I was gonna see if I could read a name. I'm not seeing any etchings on any of them, but it's tough to tell. It is so cold that my eye, I can't, like there's like, my eyes are like welling up, like watering up. Now the moment is definitely very intense, but I'm not shedding a tear. I mean, it's definitely very emotional being out here, but it's the coldness, like my eyes, they don't know how to react. So they're like, they're like formulating like a shell of water around there. Doesn't make any, I can't, I'm not making any sense, but yeah. Wow. I feel like I'm in a dream right now. I feel like I'm in a literal dream. Okay, I gotta turn around and get back into town. There's the Alaska Court System building. It's a very unique looking structure, right? Snow removal in process, or in progress, I should say. All right, this is the grocery store. Let's go check it out. Without a doubt, there's not even a close second place I've ever been, <laughs> grocery store-wise, price-wise, that compares to the prices here in Barrow, Alaska. I mean, this is five times what it would normally would cost at a normal grocery store. Maybe even more inflated than that. Not every aisle is completely full. They don't have a huge inventory, but the inventory they have is very, very pricey. And most of the reason is because getting the stuff over here is the major issue. So now I have stepped back outside. Somebody up here is having an issue with their coughing. It looks like the sun is going to be starting to rise pretty soon. So the interesting thing, they have a coffee in there. This coffee was $3. But if I was to buy coffee and make it myself at home, you'd be paying way more than that per cup <laughs> based on the prices that were inside the, inside the store. All right, let's continue on. Yeah, that was wild. That <laughs> was... I don't think I've ever seen grocery prices like that before. There's a dog over there. Man, it's brisk. Oh, there's another whale bone. Oh, this is the museum. I want to go in there. I'm going to go over there next. So you got the grocery store here which has a whale and then you have the heritage center over there which is basically their museum I'll go check that out North North Slope Borough it's like there's a little bit of a boat so they're like more like a little history lesson inside here learn about the area after walking in they told me that they were not open the only thing open is the gift shop Top of the world, Barrow, Alaska. Evidently, they're having a maintenance issue, so museum's not open. The only thing I can check out is this and a little bit of a lobby, so no go on that. Oh, look at these. These are like huge bumper. Oh my gosh, these are like the biggest bumper stickers I've ever seen. These are like, so this is my hand. Look at this. This is huge. <laughs> look at the size of this bumper sticker. That is huge. I'm gonna get that. Five dollars. 
That is like, I've never seen a bumper sticker that big before. That's something. Is this a magnet? Hey, thank you. Yep. No, All right. No go on checking out and learning a little bit of history, but got a big bumper sticker. Keep driving around, see what I can find. It'd be nice if I could take that thing around. Well, that would be be really cold riding on that thing. As I drive along here, you can see that this is an unpaved road. It's made of like a hard pack, either mud or clay. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but it's definitely not concrete or cement. And over to the side, that's a berm. Right over the side of the berm is the ocean, the Atlantic Ocean. But I do like the fact that the roads are not paved. Just less black ice on the roads because it doesn't stick as much as it would on pavement. I'm no expert, but that's just what I'm figuring. But the ocean is right there, right there. Look at this. That is a piece of machinery right there. Just spouting the snow right back out onto the berm. That's cool. Wendy, you got a big surprise coming to you. Go check out the snow cat. Go check out the snow cat. Go check it out. Go check it out. I'd be losing my mind out here. I don't know why that light is on that snow cat, but I have to quote the shining. The northernmost football field in the United States is right here. And I cannot imagine how often it could be used when there's not snow on it. But it is used. It's right here on the Arctic Ocean. The Arctic Ocean. You can basically throw a rock and hit the frozen ocean. There's a lake on that side of the football field. You got my truck parked there. You got the stands there. The announcer's box, all that. And you got a football field right here. Incredible. Leaving the truck running. I turned it off when I went to the grocery store, but all the other spots when I pull off the side of the road away from town, I'm leaving it on. snow drift there. to see a polar bear but I don't want to see it in this condition look at this snow drift is the side of the fence right there
Probably shouldn't get too far. I probably shouldn't get too far, honestly, from the pond. The bear thing kind of frightens me a little bit. The idea that there could be polar bears in this vicinity kind of scares me. All right, I'm reaching a point where it says the road is closed. So I'm not gonna go past this point. Now, if you kept going, you would hit Point Barrow. You have to get out and hike about two miles. I'm not gonna be hiking up to the farthest possible point of Point Barrow, because from what I was reading, this time of the year, that is where the polar bears are. They do not want to encounter one of those in the wild. Now, there are some trucks parked up here, but I'm gonna abide by that road sign just stay just stay right here now it does appear as if the water is moving well it's really an eerie feeling as I said because it looks like a painting there's no water crashing and I guess the water is moving there is some This is like just so bizarre to see because it doesn't appear as if the water is flowing, but I guess it is. It's not frozen over. It is moving. Originally, last night when I landed and I was looking at it at night, it appeared as if the, it appeared as if the whole thing was frozen solid. But look how it's just moving at such a slow pace that it doesn't appear to be moving. Back in the truck, continue on, turn around, do a U-turn, go back into town. Drove up a little bit more, take a look. Definitely some sort of a bone, of like a whale bone, perhaps? I mean, that's what I'm guessing it is, based on some of the little arches made of whale bones. That'd be like a full, full whale. And there's another one buried right there. Two of them right here. Look at these. Some old pieces of machinery. It's an old truck over there, like a 18-wheeler type of truck. You can't see it because it's completely frozen over, but there's a lagoon right there on this other side. In fact, this bridge is designated Top of the World Bridge. Right there. Top of the World Bridge says it. 
the lagoon on the other side. Top of the World Bridge. Completely frozen over lagoon. Goodness gracious, look at this thing. I don't even think this thing's used anymore. Nice. What are these? Big sandbags or something? Oh, hey, that's deep. That's deeper than I wanted it to be. Oh crap. Look at the snow drift right down here. All that snow right there. Okay, it looks like there's a sea lion or something. It's tough to see it, but there's some etchings on that sign right there. It's like a sea lion, whale. Okay. Back in the heat. It's another directional. London, 4,114 miles. This is another Presbyterian church. Oh, this is the Presbyterian church, the, one of the original buildings in town. I was reading about that online. Followed by the new Presbyterian church that's been built right here. I'm gonna grab a bite to eat. So, North Slope Borough. Little restaurant right here. It's called Sam and Lee's. Grab a bite to eat. See what they got. Oh, I hear a helicopter going by. The Chinese food restaurant. Sandwiches, beef, chow mein, chicken, fried rice, soups. Mm. Wow. Wow. Look at the price. Wonton soup is $26. <laughs> Holy cow. Lunch special is $25 each. All right, I got water. I got three egg rolls. Three egg rolls are $18, and the chow mein was like, what, $30? Things are expensive here. All part of the experience. I just showed up, they said, here's some soup for you. So, a little chicken, chicken noodle here. Soup for the soul. Warms up the, warms up the blood. I mean, I can definitely understand why, considering the prices that were at the gas station not gas station, a grocery store, that everything here has to be shipped in. Everything would be a little more expensive because of this. I think like 90% of the, of the year, nothing can get here other than by plane. I think boats sometimes too when the weather's a little bit warmer. And I think even when the weather's really warm, which is rare, you could, there are some some roads, but for the most part, you can't get here unless it's by plane. Pretty good. I've actually never seen a place cut open an egg roll before. Usually, 
usually they won't slice them down the middle. Maybe that's just to let the heat out so you don't like scald your mouth. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty standard egg roll. Slice down the middle. All right, here it is. Chicken chow mein, a little rice, a little extra water. I also asked the girl working here if she knew a good spot to park at so I could walk right up to the water where it was really close. She told me about a place that's next to a fur shop, so I'm gonna go over there after I get done with this and dip my hand in the ocean. Hopefully. From where I was, I just didn't really feel comfortable walking across that much snow and then walking down the berm, if that makes sense. It was a pretty good portion. I mean, it is, it is a lot of money, but definitely a decent portion. All right, $46 later. It was good though, I am really, really full. Here's one of the taxis through here. So I'm gonna get in my rental car, or a rental truck, and find the fur shop. After eating at Sam and Lee's, go to the fur shop and then walk down and touch the water at the beach. Also, rare moment where the sun is kinda sorta up. That's the only glimmer of the sun I've seen today and probably will be the last. It looks like it might be about ready to set underneath that building there. So there's the sun. And evidently in a couple weeks, like two or three weeks from now, don't quote me on this, it was just something I was reading. But here within the next month, it'll start being dark 24 hours a day for a couple months. So right now, I'm grateful to even have any sun when I'm here visiting. Because soon there will be no sun here in this town. Isn't that wild to think about? 24 hours of darkness for weeks on end? Like I said, it's a different world. Different world up here. All right, got this boat turned over right here. Here is the fur shop, right there. Let's see if I can walk down here. So this is interesting. Look at these. They're like those sandbags again. Lots of them. Quietest beach I've ever ever been at. And not because of the people, well, that's obvious. But just because there's no waves crashing. None. And no, I will not be doing a polar plunge. That is not going to be happening. Do well enough to even be bundled up without getting in the water. Look, okay, there's some rocks there. That's slick. Oh my gosh, that's slick. That's a rock. Okay. That's slick. That's actually slick. Oh! Very slick. Here it is. It's very, very slick. Very slick. That's pure ice, right there. Amazing. There's a bird right there in the water, floating around. Okay. Got a 
to do this. Holy Lord, that's cold. Whoo. Oh my gosh, that's cold. Ooh. Oh. Put that glove back on. Get that glove back on. Holy. Oh. Cold. Instantaneous numbness. Get these gloves back on. Oh my gosh. Instantaneous numbness. <laughs> the fingers. Ooh, I don't even know what the temperature of that water is, but it's definitely not lukewarm. Not bath water temperature, that's for sure. But I did it. Definitely very gusty out here. Not in, well, not incredibly gusty, just a little gusty, but with the temperature, even the slightest breeze makes that wind chill next level. This is called the Beaufort Building. It says it right there on the side. I think I'm gonna start heading back to the hotel. Maybe take a look at the whale archway again and get inside before the sun comes down. It's just gonna start getting even colder once that sun dissipates again. One thing about the food options, the grocery store and all that, there's no fast food anywhere, anywhere in town. There was a subway, but it closed. I can't even imagine what the price of the subway sandwiches were, having to get all that stuff shipped over by plane. Definitely did not have $5 footlongs at that subway. Probably why it went out of business. Or maybe they did, and that's why it went out of business, because everything else here, you kind of think you get any food option, even a can of soup in this town for $5. All right, the mayor is Josian A. Potkatok. Here's the North Slope Borough Building. The mayor's name's on the side of the building. Now, earlier I was mentioning how there's a couple buildings on the National Register. The original Presbyterian church there, but also the pastor's home, also known as a parsonage, which is located right over there. You see the shed there, and then the main portion of the parsonage house is also on the National Register from what I was reading. There's a couple buildings here in town that are on the National Registry, which is pretty neat. Normally I would roll that window down to get a better angle without a glare or anything, but there's no electric windows in this. It's an older vehicle, so you have to do the roll down. And I'm not sure if I really want to roll the window down right now because it's cold. So it's kind of a two for reason. You can see pretty good through the windshield or through the window. Ooh, boats. Look at that. It's another empty boat just sitting right there. I keep hearing the weirdest noises and then I realize it's just the tires going on the ice and snow. So here's a little seawall embankment. There's like a metal embankment here to hold the hold the seawall in. That's different, right? It's just random boats which do not look to have been utilized in many years just sitting here amongst the snow and ice back over here now we can see it a little bit better so slight slight daylight out a little bit that's left before the sun dips back over the horizon a little more specific about information about this I was looking up again it was the Point Barrow Refuge Station. It was built in 1889. The oldest wood frame building in the entire town. Here's a, a support station for whaling ships. Ships, I should say. Then it became a cafe years after that. It was a cafe for a long time. Now usually when a building is on the National Register, There'll be a placard or a sign, but I'm not seeing one on this one. There are some antlers up there, right there. 
big metal door right there in the front big metal door rusted out from the elements oldest building in town right here This has definitely been something I will remember. Look at that, there's, an, there's another piece of bones. Oh wow. Not just whatever the, is it the head or the torso? But also like some femur type of bones down here. in there I can't tell what those are but those almost look like train cars that are down there there's another bone right there all right that's gonna do it for today top of the world highest point the most north the most northern town in the United States of America in the Arctic Sea that I dipped my hand in I'm starting to get some feeling back into my fingers now Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. The vlog. Ooh, why didn't I have this zipped up even more? Also, I'm a long way. I'm a long way from Epcot. Oh, nowhere near. The vlog is over.